Hi, today we're going to jump right in to Lecture 6 Break-Even Analysis by going straight into a problem. Break-Even Analysis is sometimes called CVP. The C stands for cost, the V stands for volume, and the P stands for profit. Break-Even is what our calculator uses and there, we're going to learn more about that later. So let's jump right in. The Hungry Days Ice Cream Company has fixed costs of $30,000 per month. Each case of ice cream costs $4.50 to make. Write an equation giving total cost as a function of the number of cases of ice cream made. We're going to graph that in the space below. Well, we know from last time that our cost, cost equation, is fixed costs plus variable costs times x, where x is the quantity. So in our case, we have $30,000 plus $4.50 for every carton case of ice cream. Let's write that in. So I'm going to scroll a little bit. And by the way, K, little aside, 60K is 60,000. K stands for kilo, which comes from the Greek word for thousand. I use that when I draw legends because I don't like writing all those zeros. My hand gets tired. A computer, besides one that I write on, would be very helpful. I've gone ahead and labeled this because I know what the axes. When you're doing this in the real world, you'll often be using Excel or a graphing program. So I'm going to label it. Every five is going to be $10,000 on the y-axis. Costing is always on the y-axis. And I've put $2,500 for every five blocks on the x-axis. So let's start with cost. Our intercept is going to be zero. When I have zero cases of ice cream, our cost is $30,000. So zero, $30,000. Now I'm going to come up with something else. I've chosen 5,000 because that seems to be a nice easy number. Then Y or the cost equals 30,000 plus 450 times 5,000. And when I run that into a calculator, I get the point 5,000, 52,500. Okay, let's put that on. 5,000 is a nice dark line, and 52,500 seems to be right about here. Now I've got that on my list. On my chart, I go ahead and put in a nice straight line, and I can even label that as my cost equation. Okay, part B. The company sells ice cream for $12 per case. Give an equation for the revenue function and graph the revenue below. Here, price, actually I'm gonna switch this to purple, why not? Price is $12 per case. Revenue is the same as sales. And that's always going to de be defined as price times quantity. Sometimes quantity is done as Q for quantity. We often use X because that's what's used in algebra for unknowns. When I put in what I have for this, I end up with revenue, I'm calling that R, is 12X. If I sell X cases of ice cream, I make 12 times X in price. Scrolling up, I'm going to write this again over here. Let's put this on the exact same chart. The intercept of revenue is easy. If we sell no ice cream, we make no money. Expect zero, zero to be a point on every revenue graph. Now I'm going to go with something that looks equally easy. If I sell 5,000 cases of ice cream, then I make 12 times five is $60,000 in sales. So 5,000, 60, right at the top. Again, all I have to do is put in my ruler, line everything up, 
the nicer you line this up, the easier it is to really see what's going on. And now we can see where these cross. Okay, let's label our graph. This is the important part, profit, loss, and break even. I'm gonna go back to what we talked about in the very first lecture, and pretty sure in the very first video. Profit is revenue or sales minus cost. When profit is greater than zero, we're in a profit situation. When profit is less than zero, let's put that as a dollar sign, we're in a loss situation. And when profit is exactly zero, this is what we call the break even point. This is what the purpose of this lecture is. We're always going to be trying to figure out what the break even point is. The minimum sales to not lose money. It's okay if we make a little bit of money, but if we lose money, we're in a bad situation. We want to be in a positive situation. Okay, so looking at our graph, this time we're just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this. I'm even gonna put a little line there right at that point and it looks like it's a nice even point. And we have on the yellow side, over here, our costs are higher than our revenues. So I'm gonna write revenue here in purple. When our cost is higher than our revenue, this is a loss situation. When our profit, when our revenue is higher than our costs over here, this is a profit situation. So if we sell more than somewhere around 4,000, we'll be in a profit. And if we sell less than that, we will be in a loss. Okay, part D, let's calculate the break even point. We're gonna express it in multiple ways. So looking at our chart earlier, scroll up, we think it's somewhere around 4,000, but now we're gonna look at that algebraically. So the break even point comes when profit equals 